Aren't you tired spending the afternoon trying to find files that coworkers are saved in various locations throughout the company? Let's talk about that. Hi, I'm Dan Metzinger, a technical solutions executive here with Autodesk. And today we're gonna to talk about document management and construction and how software can either solve for or create problems in how we store, share, and access documents within our organizations. Prior to joining Autodesk, I spent 15 years as a construction project manager, so I've spent my fair share of time trying to chase down project files. Across a project team, you've got project engineers, superintendents, various people throughout the office, and a lot of times you're supposed to store those maybe on a SharePoint server within the company, but then you have people who are downloading documents, saving them to their desktops, or those who just have documents in their emails, and you can't access those documents, and it gets to be very frustrating. And I'm sure we all have our own nightmare stories of managing documents. Uh, personally, I actually worked with a gentleman who would print off PDFs, store them in physical file folders, and then once a project got going, you would have to go and find those files, scan them back in, and store them on the server internally. There's a lot of nightmares out there, but we'll talk about how we can solve for some of those problems with Autodesk Construction Cloud. What a lot of the companies in the industry have done is taken their old legacy storage solutions, which was typically an internal server, and moved all of that over to a cloud-based solution and kind of homegrown their own collaborative environment. But what we do here at Autodesk Docs is we actually bake in our solution within the software and create a platform around what it is we're doing in the industry. So the problem with shifting from the old internal servers to a cloud-based storage solution is that bad habits tend to follow along with it. And it still is just a point solution for storing documents. It's a one-way sync. You take a pay app, throw it in a file folder, and that is just what the file is. The information lives within the file, but it doesn't really tie logic anywhere else. The only way you really can tie that logic is maybe to take a handful of files, zip them up into a file folder, email them out, and hope that the people that you send it to can tie the logic of those files together themselves. As your project teams are taking files and just dumping them into these file folder structures, there's really no context to those files. They just go there. The only information is within the file itself. The way that Autodesk Construction Cloud solves this is we have what we call as Autodesk Docs. It is built into every product we have within the platform. And these documents now become logically tied together pieces of information that can be added as backup anywhere throughout the entire platform. As you start taking a look at Autodesk Construction Cloud, you will see that everything is referencing back to that common data environment, which is Docs. This allows you to take each one of these pieces of information and start inserting it into workflows throughout the project lifecycle. Now, just like maybe a traditional cloud-based solution, you have the ability to set permissions, share outside of the platform, but you can now also start taking these documents, putting them into review workflows, and actually even natively viewing documents right within the platform itself, which allows you to reduce tech stack for some of those people who might be using viewers of certain file types now they can just look at them right within the software solution itself. Now we do allow you to invite outside members into this documents folder structure to access should you choose. But more excitingly, we actually have a product called Bridge. What Bridge does is it respects the varying levels of trust we might have within the industry. So where you'll hear Autodesk commonly refer to bringing everybody into the same connected data environment for the sake of connected construction, we do understand there are times when it may not make sense to do that. So with Bridge, you can choose specific files and send them to another person's instance of Autodesk Construction Cloud. And now you have two projects talking to each other, but two different companies able to maintain their own data within their own environments. And it just allows that separation of companies if you choose to do that. So in this video, we've barely scratched the surface on what docs can do. We haven't talked about transmittals, naming standards, project templates, or even custom attributes. So I hope today that in this video you've watched and just maybe thought about some of your document workflows. Click the link in the description down below for more information.